What's up guys, Dan here, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, comment three times and watch the entire video because it really helps me out. So today I'm going to be showing you how to edit the best cinematics for your Fortnite montages and it will look just like this. So I already went ahead and imported the clips and the cinematics and synced the beats to them. So what we're going to do first is we're going to time remap this first cinematic. So to time remap you want to select your cinematic and you want to hit Ctrl, Alt and T. That will enable time remapping. And this cinematic is gonna be a reverse zoom in cinematic, which means it's gonna go into the person, then go back out onto my person. So to do that, you wanna um, add a keyframe on the first um, frame of the cinematic. And when I hit Control C to copy it and paste the same keyframe at the end of the cinematic, and add a third keyframe, like right at about the middle, and then drag the time map so it like zooms into the person, somewhere like this. Then you want to enable easy ease on them, so we're going to select all of them and hit F9 on our keyboard or just right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Now what you want to do is you want to select all of them and you open your graph editor. So you're going to have something like this. So what I like to do is I want to drag this up like almost all the way up and then drag this to the left, somewhat like this. And this one you're going to drag it down and drag this one up so it creates somewhat like a triangle. So everyone likes the time wrapping a bit different, but I like it something like this, it's pretty much the idea. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to effects to add our transitions. So you're gonna type in blur mode curves and just drag that on to your cinematic. Then what you're gonna do is you wanna animate the Zidis right here. So when I press the little like clock thing, then you wanna hit um, U on your keyboard to open this up. And then you're gonna add a keyframe at the first frame of the cinematic and then go like, 10, 12 frames to the right and add another one. And now go back to the first one, select it and go to the Z-Dist. And um, I like to do it like outwards, so like 1.5, 1.4. And also make sure you select um, rough X and rough Y to reflex so it doesn't do those like black bars thing. And now what you're gonna do is you wanna select both of these and easy ease them again with F9 and go into your graph editor once, once you select them. And you wanna select this little dot to open those um, yellow lines up. So you want to drag this all the way down and drag this all the way to the left. So it creates somewhat of like a smooth transition. And now what you're going to do is you want to have um, blur mode curves on your first clip before the cinematic. Animate the Zidis with a clock thing again. Open, press U to open this up. Select these to reflect. And you want to have a keyframe at the last frame of the clip and another one like 10, 12 frames to the left and add another keyframe. And now you want to go back to the last keyframe, this one, and you want to drag this down, the Zidis, to like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, that's up to you. Select both of these again, easy ease them with F9, open the graph editor and open these up again. Drag this one, the top one, all the way to the right and the bottom one all the way up, like this. And now as you can see, you're going to have like a nice smooth transition, somewhat like this. It's pretty quick, but it's noticeable. So now you also want to have a transition at the end of the cinematic, obviously. So open up the cinematic again, add a keyframe at the last frame of the cinematic. And again, like 10, 12 frames to the right, to the left, I mean. Add another keyframe like this and go back to the last one and um, drag this one out to like 0 0.4, 0 0.5, right, like this. Select them again, like this. Open the graph editor, select this. Drag this one all the way to the right and this one all the way down, just like this. And now the last thing you're gonna do is you wanna have, um, just drag blur mode curve to the last clip, just like this. Again, select those to reflect. Animate the Z-Dist once again, hit U to open this up. Go have a keyframe in the first frame, go like 10, 12 frames to the right, add another keyframe. Then you wanna go back to this one and just drag this down. So it goes in again, easy, easy them open graph editor and just drag this one up and this one to the left just like you do the other ones all right and it looks just like this so you have like a smooth clean transition so what we're gonna do now we're gonna add black bars to it so what you want to do is we're gonna go press layer hit new then solid just select a black solid then you want to go into effects and type in cc jaws drag that onto the solid on the red thing then you want to drag the completion up to 100 percent and drag the height down to zero and now we want to animate the completion, the clock thing. Hit U to open this up again. Have a, um, a, a keyframe right where the cinematic starts. And another one like 10, 12 frames to the right. Then select the right one and turn the completion down to like 90, 85%, something like this. 
Then go to the end of the cinematic, which is right here. Have another keyframe right at the end that, and set that to 100%. And go like 10 to 12 frames to the right, to the left, I mean. Add another keyframe and set that down again to 90%. And now you have black bars, which fades in, fades out. So now the left thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add whoosh sound effects. So I have my like my sound effects, but you guys can just look it up on YouTube and just find your own. That's pretty simple. So I just drag one at the start of the cinematic, copy it, and add another one at the end of the cinematic where it goes out. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole cinematic. That's pretty much what you do. So let me show you what it looks like at the end. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on, and comment below what I should do for the next video. And peace out.